Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where the bone pickers are... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> are trying to help Edmund over here. He's, he's in the middle of a big pile of carnage. Yep, he's, he's butchering. Let's turn you guys back on so I can see what's happening. Most folks are waking up, a couple are sleeping left. Um, Carter and Edmund would naturally do the butchering anyway, so the Carter, once he's available, he'll probably just walk out there and do it on his own. <clears throat> Paulette has been smoking and playing a handpan, so I guess her relaxation is probably quite low. And wow, these pancoffs are just swarming right now. Man, the music is getting really exciting. <laughs> It's filling my whole studio here. Anyway, we had this big battle last time and took them all out right here. And and I'm told that mostly it's because we preemptively attacked down here that they came at us from here instead of going around. So that would be an interesting test for later. If another one spawns right in here, if we are over here, will they in fact go around or will they take the path of least resistance? I don't know. Um, hopefully they will start going around and we'll, I won't need to double fence this whole area. Edmund was told to do all of these. How is his stats? He's still in decent shape, so he'll be fine. So Rita, after you're done getting all caught up, how about you get out here? In fact, let's just set you for next and get as much of this processed as you can. Kana is doing what none and idle you're in decent shape let's make some power cells let's see this happen so you put the okay so are these the um no those are cores those are electronics power cells require where did you put the energy crystals when you brought all that in let's follow you oh you went outside with them they're right over here okay <clears throat> so a power cell takes what? Because you went and got something else already. Uh, two electronics. Oh. So we need to get way ahead on electronics, don't we? <clears throat> electronics, where is that thing? There's four and two. Two electronics and four CPU cores. Speaking of CPU cores, we don't have to make them. thought I'd send Rita out. Kind of one more trip to verify that there really is... Nothing, no other new species to discover. But let's get, where did she ever go? She is petting an olfen still, okay. So now she's gonna go farm, or harvest. And they've got their feed. Fattening bars don't really tell me if they're hungry or not. So when it had said that they were starving, I don't know that this really changed much. This is when it's time to, when they've got the most meat on them possible because they've been fattened up. Health-wise, there's nothing about nutrition there. Happiness, um, maybe there's a well-fed or something. No, just was tamed, okay. So I don't know how to determine if they are full or not. Had someone, oh, through the night closed this so that they would stay in there and had Rita before she went to bed plant a whole bunch of the fruit bushes so that when those uh, ripen maybe they'll eat them do we set this for non harvest harvest off okay all right so Rita is over here plowing us some of this field and I actually saw some of these rotted away so apparently now that they're ready to harvest there isn't much of a of a, a time cushion there. In fact, I wonder if I need to get somebody else to come out and help, too. Edmund is transporting these guys. I'm not Edmund, Simon. Yeah, this entire series I have mixed up Edmund and Simon by the, because of how they, uh, how they came into the game next to each other. You are meats. We have no more room for these guys. Okay, well, I take it our fridge is full. No, it's not. I mean, we've got more space. I wonder... Well, it's probably adding up other things that also need this space, too. Like Simon's bringing in all the... the yeah, right there. 
all the berries. Okay, so it comes down to let's just make a whole bunch of food. So I could get, say, Umiar to... What is he doing right now? He is handling something. Double click. You're off to go do that again. All right, so what... Oh, the one that you dropped off when I said that's enough. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to forbid this stuff. So I can't say don't go out and get it. It's just there, and when I give him the order to get the ore made, he just goes for the closest stuff. So really what we need to do is get Simon up there to bring back a bunch of ore so that we're not running trips anymore. Edmund is transporting this stuff. He must have found some space somewhere. Uh, this over here. So we don't have enough for all of it. Okay. So maybe we'll let the birds pick off the rest of that. Although Carter's going to keep doing it anyway. Though I could tell Carter specifically to work on... Yeah, I'll let you get this one bar done. Work on these fences. And we'll let the bone picker clean up the rest. All right, Carter, can you repair and repair and yeah, just keep doing it till I've got no more uh, choices available to me. Uh, repair doors and another, yep, yeah, you just do all that stuff. Bring enough wood to do the whole thing at once. All right, she is doing some, yeah, I can't, I'll wait till tomorrow to send her off on that trip. We'll verify that there truly is nothing else to discover out there. So hopefully that's the last of the ore randomly placed out there. And we we'll won't have to worry about those unexpected runs like before. I had told Rita to do these. I think we're going to cancel that. We've got a lot of our own right over here now. And there's no need to make that other long trip. All right, so we are running at speed one. We are two in the afternoon, day twenty-three. I'm trying to remember now. Was it was two days per, or twelve days per season, right? So spring and summer. So one more day of summer, and then we are into autumn, and a lot of rules change. No more planting things. We did get this planted up, thank goodness don't know how thick actually grows pretty fast so we may get a harvest yet this year I'm hoping so um, I'm thinking the grains there's is, is, is two harvests per year she's doing a good job of doing this now that's what I was Simon is delivering that there's not a thing I can do to make him stop he's gonna every time I turn around he's gonna be wanting to do it he wants to bring the materials to this so I'll tell you what, you do that, and then on your way back out, see if I can find the old camp. Pull back, it would have been here. On your way back, bring back some ore. Simon, I can't right-click any of this. Why can't I? What am I doing wrong? Right there, we've got 280 ore available. And Simon, right click, nothing happens. That is weird. Let's get rid of the. Let's do that. And then, Simon, can you. You can store undesired items. It would not let me right click that at all. That's really weird. I don't know what to think of that. So, you're going to drop off your 15 sticks. You're going to pick up as much of this as possible and bring it back. And you're going to starve to death on the way. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I gotta babysit this. I want you to... No, I can't even have you eat this. Because you'll then take it all the way down to that table. And then come all the way back. You're just gonna have to go hungry, dude. Okay, bad choice. Or, where'd you go? You're right here? What if I just left it there and sent you back? Get something to eat. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, I wish they would check their their stats versus distance of what they're attempting to do. That would make so much more sense. How far can he go hungry before he breaks down? I guess we'll find out. You were butchering another glutch. You didn't get all these done. 
Okay, so Edmund just dive in. Let's repair and repair and repair and repair and repair. Okay. You do all those right now. It's possible the Oh, these don't need wood. I think that's it. Uh, right there. Repaired. One of one. I guess the wood's already been delivered. Okay. Is that rain? What did I just see? I thought I saw something dropping. Well, maybe it was leaves. Okay. So, Umiar is handling a furnace. I wanted him... Yeah. Next. Okay, get this one done and we'll stop there. And you're in decent shape. Let's do fuels. And that will get up some of this uh, some of this meat used. So why don't you... Device is working. Okay. Do this, this, this. And that will get some of our meats used up. And maybe room to bring a few more things in. Edmund is done. And he says, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. I want to get back to my joy in life of butchering man-hunting glutches. Leave me alone. <laughs> Carter. Yeah, he well, he found two more to go and, and tear apart. Okay, let them do their thing. Otherwise, i got to rework all of their, their uh, priorities, and I don't want to do that. So, Rita spent the whole day out here. How is she doing? She needs food. Her happiness is really dropping. If she could just get some of the, the last of these big ones done that are and in danger in any way of... In fact, does it say... Well, there's no time limit. Well, I'm sure there is. Anyway, you're getting something to eat. Yeah, leave you alone. And that's that's quite a haul. Um, could have you bring some in, but then you walk really slow. So you just go ahead and do what you need. Simon, what is your story now? You are still going. You're still in a good mood, but you're dropping quick. Where are you actually going to now? Uh, all the way... Wait, wait. Where am I? All the way over here. Simon. Yeah, this run is just too long. It really is. I think I'm going to have you abandon this. Transport. Oh, he's gone this far, though, but... What time is it? 20 hundred? You're going to have a hard time getting back before you break. You really are. Going to have to really watch Simon. Maybe for now, for an episode or two, just delete this guy. Uh, stick, shelter tear you down. Okay. Simon, does that do anything to your orders? Now you're going to transport, but you're going to take a long time to get it. It's sitting over here. Well, you can get some of it halfway down. Then I can draft you when you're ready to break and get you back and go to bed. Maybe that's the answer. Hmm. I mean, boy, it's frustrating. You've made such a long trip. I hate to have you do it for nothing. So let's check up on you in a couple of hours, see where you are. Carter is moving wooden skin bark bed. Here we go again. At least he's starting off with 100 happiness. Uh, he does have a full survival package on him. If I think of it, let him drop off the bed, switch over to being a miner, and then assign the bed to him. Maybe that's a way to deal with it. I couldn't do that with Simon because the bed wasn't there and he doesn't have the survival kit on him. Uh, malfunction ceiling lamp. Otherwise, what else is going on? Paulette, how have you been doing? We were getting kind of low on meals there. We had just two choices. So we've got some fruits flambe. Good. Veggie soup and veggie stew and meat pie. But no breads. I think we've actually finished the grains, haven't we? We have. No grain left. Wow. That means no more coffee. No more buttermelon pie. And we're working in the dark. Kana, whatever happened to you today? You are over here making a... A... Whatchamacallit? A good luck charm. Otherwise, you were to be here. Crafting power cells. 
Um, until there's two, and it doesn't say in stock one. So I wonder why you only did one. Because your crafting is higher than your... What's what's that called? Whatever the electronics are. Um, manage, activities, no. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. So, Kana, craft, tailor, assemble. Okay. So if I made you a two and a two, you would assemble more. Let's do that. Because I would like to get, now that we have one power cell, let's get the pulse rifle going. Not enough resources, what do I need? Uh, four power cells. Ooh. That means we need a lot more electronics, too. Not enough resources for electronics. You need silicon. We have silicon. We need more metal alloys. We're sticking them all into these. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, let's just get you... And we'll see how that goes. Now we have a good luck charm. Small handcrafted talisman to make its carrier slightly happier. Let's get a little more specific about that. Good luck charm. Doesn't tell me anything more there. Hmm. Happier. Alright, so if anybody who's got a chronic mood problem, I guess that's the goal there. Otherwise, we're going to make another power cell. No, wait, what? We're going to make a sniper rifle. Is that right? Railgun sniper. So you're going to make one of those, and let's just... Yeah, until one, and we'll, we'll do the one. Okay. We run out of rifles. Wear one out. We've got it. But after that, you'll start saving everything up until you get to this one. Okay. So we still need to make four more power cells. Simon, how are you doing? You're slowly coming back. You are still in an average mood. So we'll make it happen. Carter, you are slowly heading up there. Don't know if you'll make it. I may just have to... Hmm. As long as you are global, you will not use your survival kit. You won't need a, to pop down a, uh, a, a bed for the night because you own a bed over here. If I got rid of your bed over here... You would still come and claim an unclaimed bed. So I can't make you sleep halfway out there that I know of. Unless I go to the trouble to pop a temporary area and assign you to it just so you'll go to sleep and then finish it tomorrow. That would give you fullness and real fullness and rest. Hmm. Have to think about that. Okay, so otherwise, Simon is still on his way back. Edmund is relaxing with the Ulfin. Kana's sleeping. Umar sleeping. Carter. Oh, that's it. Paulette is eating. Then she's off to bed. Ah, uh, going to sleep. Yeah. So that pretty much rounds up this day. Just heard the generators fire up. We had repaired that battery, so I suppose we're not too far from getting ourselves up above that 70 mark and staying there. Do have four windmills going, though they're only making four out of 40, so last time I checked it was four out of 42. These guys are constantly cycling on, off, on, off. Yeah, four out of 40. I don't know if it's a placement. I don't know if they are stifling each other. If they need to be further away. Hate to put one out here and get it attacked, but what's the repair on something like this? Does it tell me? Really, you don't get a hint until you actually need to repair it. Like the kitchen lamp here is metal alloy. Do kitchen lights need alloy to be made? Ceiling lamp. Where are you? Wall lamp. Oh, there you are. Uh, it does take alloy to make it. Okay. It takes scrap metal to make these. Power. Uh, right there. Nope, you're alloy too. So you'd be an alloy repair. I'm thinking about that because if I were to put you over here, just to separate you but still be in the power grid, will you be attacked? You know, I don't know. They haven't attacked this. They haven't attacked this. 
They haven't attacked our stairs. And we had some over here. They didn't plow through and try to destroy this stuff. It may be possible I can put that out there and not worry about it. Let's move you to here. And let's move you to here. And let's just see if that's a thing, of giving them uh, some more space. You know, I, I don't know what little changes have happened through these more recent updates. I know that wasn't a case before. I watched Solid Content build one down here, and it built one way up over there, ran power poles all the way up just to test it, and they were identical. So the top of the mountain is not windier than down in the valley. So at, back then, it didn't matter where they were placed. I don't know that that is true or untrue now, and I didn't realize I was paused. All right, so Carter is still walking. He is still... Why does that say total happiness for Carter? Total happiness. Okay. Well, he's in a really good mood. <laughs> wow, two ships passing in the night. Simon is not in the greatest mood. He got this far with it. You know, I should probably get it where it's visible again and then drop it off. And tell him to go to bed. I'm not paused. You're taking forever to get through those trees, aren't you? Yes, you are. Get you right down in here. I'll draft and undraft you. And maybe you or someone else will get the command to, to go pick that up. Yeah, he's going to grab himself a meat pie. He knows what's good. In fact, I know what's good, too. We've, you know, we've heard of pork pies from, from England. Um, or Britain. I've seen them on TV shows and cooking shows and whatnot. Always wanted to try them and found a little bakery over in the Seattle area and managed to buy one. And those are good. I, I, I get it. Those pork pies. Kind of a buttery, crispy uh, pie crust around them. And mm mm. Long way away from where I live, though. Next time we're driving through there, I'll have to bring an ice chest and get many. <laughs> anyway, we are starting our next day. Simon's running back home for food. Carter is still in decent shape. Dude, you're doing pretty good here. So in that case, should I just assign you now? If I do this do you have to rethink your life nope nothing altered here so you're moving that in then you're going to place it and hopefully lay down and do something with it you have been beat up by a giant chicken haven't you I'll bet you have oh and they that was that was the chicken yeah Gujos I tell ya well bone pickers will have them where'd you come from you came from this area yeah. Too bad there aren't eggs. That could be quite a challenge in the game. Go get you some Gujo eggs for a, a particular recipe. Yeah. I like that. You have to plan it to go out at night when they're out hunting. Very stealth move there. Carter, are you ever going to get here? <laughs> okay, Paulette is cooking. Oh, that is a... That is a windmill fan, isn't it? It is. All right, so, Kana, you are assembling. Simon is drinking, and then he is resting. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, owned by Edmund. Oops. Okay, Simon was here? I think so. Yeah, I gotta wait now, or he'll stop drinking. All right, there you go. And go back to your own bed over here. Sleep in this bed. This belongs to Edmund. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to kick you out of your own room. Okay, um, Umiar, you are handling something. 
D tell me you didn't go get those 15 branches. Dude! <laughs> I think you went all the way up there and got those 15 branches. <laughs> okay. We're going to rethink our lives here. You are going to instead ferment some liquid fuel and then you are going to eat don't have any bread but you can grab a meat pie and then we're going to head over here and you're going to spend the day making as many branches as you can cut cut and cut that is your day okay Carter is still carrying his bed he's going to be half dead by the time he gets there Yep. Um, happiness is finally dropping. All right, Kana is just going to keep doing her thing over there. We'll let her. Edmund. Repairing a diesel generator. Oh, we had a generator go down. Okay. In that case, why don't you also fuel them up? What are you naturally going to do? You're naturally going to go eat. Why don't you refuel those generators? Take some fuel. Yeah, right out of there. That's great. And will you do both? Uh, you're full. Okay. Great. That's done. You get something to eat. Omer is going to keep these going. Do his stuff. Alright, where was I? Simon is sleeping. Rita. You are eating. Then you're ready to go take a quick trip. Alright, now that you're doing that, let's assign an expedition Heading toward landing prod debris. Um, supercomputer debris. Rita, send. Okay, you are right there, and it's thinking. There you go. You're going to grab a meal or two? Yeah. Now, what do we have in here? We have two of those, five of those, one of those. What are you going to grab? You grab one of those. Interesting. Maybe it knows that it's such a short trip. It didn't have you grab two. That'd be nice if it was that smart. Okay, you are doing your last fermenting barrel. Good. And you, so we're just going to go out and see if there's any new species left. And bring back some more of these uh, CPUs, which we only have three left anyway. So, Kana shared hunting tricks with Paulette. Otherwise, she is working on a railgun sniper, which she should actually be able to do pretty fast. So, looking at this bar right here, but she her crafting is at a 10, right? Kana, there, crafting, 10, yeah. So, that's about as fast as it can be made. Look at all the parts. I never really noticed that before. There's the stock. The the arm the shoulder rest lost. We've been losing a lot of harvest over here because we didn't get them harvested. Okay, anybody left around? Paulette, your farming is one. Simon is sleeping, but he could dive out and do something. But he's only a one. Edmund hates farming with a passion. Kana, no. Umiar is busy. Carter could, but he's not here anymore. He's thinking about going to bed. This is now a Carter. And Carter needs some rest before his happiness tanks completely. So let's just do that right now. And actually for that matter, let's give you a little bit of rest, then let's build this thing again. We've got... Do we still have? We've got hay. And let me orient myself differently. It was... Boy, I thought I was right over here. The berries and the sticks. Well, we'll just have to make some more sticks. Oh, here. Okay. So we got branches here and we got hay there. Okay. So Carter, your rest. Let's try to remember you. Stop you at about 50%. That should be fine. Lost harvest. Yeah, we are losing all of the harvest. Okay. Well, that's pretty much gone then. Insufficient storage space. Did we ever figure that out? We have no more food storage. That's what's going on. Okay. 
I don't really know how to deal with that. I don't want to keep expanding the room. We have a... We have a... There's, there's our problem. We have way too much of this sweet syrup. Okay. So what I need is a new place to, to park some sweet syrup. Let's have somebody build some shelving units. Copy... Uh, that's, that's a window right there. Okay. Um, somewhere, it's going to have to be a bedroom. There are no spaces left in the, any of the common areas. Even the hallways are full now. And I've used them for storage everywhere that I could. So it's going to have to be somebody's bedroom. If you got to go th from the kitchen, you may as well go into this room over here. So if I were to do this wall, that would work. Why did that suddenly go... Oh, is there a vent or something? Why would that go red? Interesting. I don't know. Let's try that again. Copy. Right there. To there. Blocking objects. The lamp? It's the lamp. You can't put a ceiling lamp over these things. Interesting. Okay, so unfortunately I can't even... I wonder if I could. Let's say you, and then let's copy, and just do right next to you. No, it's got to start in a new space. That's a shame. So I'd have to move this. We don't really need this anymore. We truly don't. Let's just package this up and go away. Deconstruct, reconstruct, copy, and move. All right, let's deconstruct it. And while I'm thinking of this, let's just get it done. Um, unless Edmund's nearby, he's not. Where are you going with it? You're bringing more of that stuff in. Okay. So, Kana, can you come over here and deconstruct that? Right now. Tear that down, and then we'll quickly build some more of these guys through here. We'll move all of that stuff into here, and then we'll get regular food storage back. We need to get more harvest goods in that are not going to make it through the winter. So, copy you, put you from... Will you rotate? You will. Okay. From there to there. And you can cancel. And Kana, I need that built as soon as possible. Alright, so you are going to say... Um, no foods except sweet syrups. Okay. Supercomputer debris. Alright, she got some more cores and no more discoveries. So we can rule out that there are anything, any other species of any kind out there for Rita to discover. That's two in a row. And she's never missed one until these two, so I think that's conclusive. So Connor's going to take care of that. I need someone else like Simon, who's playing a handpan after his grueling day out. Um, yeah, play the hand pan, eat a meat pie, which doesn't exist. Okay, then eat a veggie soup. And then I need you to start... Again, I can't right-click and do anything. Oh, that's what I need to do. Um, oh, I see what was wrong up top there. They were in storage uh, stockpiles. So they were where they belonged already. It was our stockpile, and they were in the right place. Okay, that's what it was. Anyway, so that same logic, I need you to no longer accept other uh, sweet syrup. And we'll just start with that. We'll grab those and move all that sweet syrup. Okay. So with that, I can now tell Simon when you're done eating to unload store undesired areas twice. Or items. Problem is, which one is it? Let's go over here. And right click and do that. Okay. So Simon already got another job. There you go. So put as many of these away as you can. Kana's building them. She's gone away. Kana, let's get this finished now. I know you 
really want to build that. Building a gun would be kind of cool. Especially a railgun sniper. Especially a railgun, yep. Magnetically powered gun. You're over there. You are 20 out of 40 now. But so are you. You and you. Did the wind change or did we get rid of the obstruction? I don't know. Alright, so Rita's on her way back back any moment. We still have this stuff sitting out here that didn't get delivered. Anybody need boots? Let's just do it that way. Carter is up top here. Okay, Carter. I will get back to the boots in a moment. I want to do this before it's time for him to go to sleep. Um, I mean, before the day runs out, he's already sleeping. Let's try one last time. Camp, shelter, right there. And there drop you in and Carter I want you to construct this let's get to work on these guys first and then I'll take you oh it's already sitting here from the last attempt okay toss that in there okay now you're mining so now Carter you are no longer mining what was it? Outpo? Yeah. Mining Outpo, you are now global. Now I want you to construct this. And you should be going for those. No more Simon bring bringing 15 sticks all the way up here. Finally. Is that the last thing to build? I think it is. You've got... Oh, you're... Do we ever move? We didn't. This has got to move. Alright, so move you... I'm in the right area somewhere, right? There you are. Move you to here. Like that. Carter's over there. Okay. So, does anybody need those boots? Umiar does. Umiar has been working all day. He's still in good shape. He's hauling them back. Okay. Once you have hauled those back, I need you to put on some boots. And that's done. Old equipment. That's probably him. His boots... Nope. That's Rita. Her... What's she dealing with here? She's about to lose her spear. Okay. Railgun sniper's wearing out. Um, who else could use... You could use boots as well. Um... You're over here. I bet you we have some boots in place. Sneakers. There. Just go do that right now. Otherwise, you need a shirt. Oh, under her, her uh, armor. Okay. So, what would that be? None of these. Um... That's a coat. That's a shirt. So, Kana, when you're done with that, come and equip that. And then... Doubt we have any spears just hanging around, do we? We do. And equip that. Okay. So, Umiar, you probably should too if there was another one. I didn't... We have a quantity? We have just one. In here, we have another one. Umiar, grab a spear. Okay, so Edmund, don't need boots. Anybody need these trousers? Ah, uh, this one you just took off. These are synthetic leggings, whereas... I don't know why it's showing me leggings there. Transporting leggings. Okay, Simon, did I... No, you just randomly got the, uh, got the order. Okay, so Rita, she's got the synthetic leggings already. They've all got leggings already. Okay, so Simon, you do that. And then what else did I need Simon to do? Oh, we were filling up these. Let's, after that, transport some more undesired items. Okay. Um, Carter. You are making your way back. You'll do the construction. Then you'll probably drop back into mining again. I'll have you move that. And then I need to reset you to this... Uh, Mining outpost instead of global. Kana is picking up all those things. 
Umayar is bringing his in and he's going to get his new boots. Edmund is still working on bug meat. I may have to take you and Carter's uh, hunting back off so this doesn't repeat again. Yeah, I think when we get to the next bug attack, we will uh, we'll take you guys off of hunting. I guess I, I guess I could do that now. We're kind of done hunting for a while. We don't have anywhere to store any more meat anyway. And we have all kinds of dried meat. Too much, really. So, activities. Hunting, you were number ones just to make it happen. So, otherwise you're building. Construction is a two. We'll take you to three. Edmund the same way. Okay. You do all the other things first now. Okay, Carter, you have built it. You are transporting. No, you're not. No, you're not. Now, Carter, you are moving a shroom torch. And your relaxation is horrible. I'll have you spend another night here, then go back. Didn't get any mining done, really, but you got the, uh, the basic camp set up for when we do get back to that job. Okay, where on earth am I? There we go. That's the faster way to move. So Paula is cooking, Rita is relaxing, and time is at 2200, a shooting star. Meteor with a long tail blazed in the sky and fell not too far from camp. It, sh it could be a small piece of debris or a genuine meteorite. I think I'm going to pass this time. It's probably more ore, and we've got so much of it going on up there, it's not worth losing a day and a half to do that. So, insufficient or that and that. Storage space is that which is being not repaired yet. Okay, so you now need to be pretty much any. So, raw foods all except that. That should now give room It's still counting all the different things we have spread out around here. Okay. Are you moving the shroom torch? Simon, you are what? Transporting these guys, getting bricks going again. Which isn't a bad thing. We do need to think about bricking all the rest of our walls before we send off our first, uh, uh, our, our first survivors to, uh, to be rescued kind of strengthen up our perimeter a little bit more. In fact, it wouldn't hurt to even do that in concrete. Carter's about to break down. Okay. If you get this done, then you are going to bed. Um, no, then you are going to relax like crazy. So then you're going to appreciate that. And then you're going to... I can't assign that yet. Okay. Get that bar up and then send you to bed. And then bring you home tomorrow. All right. Umiar is doing these furnaces. Well, that was Umiar. Edmund, what was I thinking of? You were over here building things. Okay. We'll catch up on these last little things. Just notice there's the grave of dog. Left that over there just to, as a reminder. Edmund's going to sleep while you're here, Edmund. I mean, you're like right here. Can you just throw that together? All the materials are there, just a few bangs. At your skill level, it won't take you too long. Yep. You know, we never open up our windows. What is the temperature inside? 47 degrees indoors. Ooh. Um, yeah, I guess we are kind of hitting fall, aren't we? It's day 25. We're into autumn. Wow. What is it? Midnight is 1 in the morning. Okay. So, all right. Let's fire these up. Start those. I'm guessing all our vents are open. Yeah, click to close. So all the vents are open. We just need to get the heat flowing in here again, and we'll be ready for, for winter. All the doors, all the windows never got open to begin with, so there's no closing those. Okay, Carter, you are going to do this. Uh, you are crushingly unhappy. Okay, drop that in there. Appreciate a dog. 
appreciate a shroom and then then you do your own thing I can't tell you to eat your survival meal you just have to do that on your own everybody else is asleep so I guess this is the show right now let's speed you up a bit now we're working on this one got a plus 18 and that fire the heaven is back to the survival level <laughs> Yeah, let's see it this way. Oh, you only get one out of that. Yeah, these don't count as two different things. You only got the 118 for a decoration. So Carter is now eating. Carter, you are now mining outpo. So draft, undraft, and come on over here and eat. All right, you're going to eat your survival meal, and then you are going to bed. And that counts as being under a roof, so he won't get this one anymore if slept outside. He will get it's dark because I don't have a torch up here. A torch! I need more sticks to make a torch. Now, I'm not going to pop it on the wall. Simon will come running up here with five sticks. So <laughs> it's not. There's Simon. I don't know what to do. He didn't put a torch in the wall. Um. <laughs> Simon, come eat a meat pie. Or some meat soup or something. He's sitting there idle, doesn't know what to do. And that gets him ready for next episode. And until then, I think we're going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.